everyone this is Navin Reddy and in this video we'll talk about patterns so this is one of the pattern we need to cover today so we'll we'll try to draw this pattern using Java so again we'll be using a for loop so whenever you want to print some this some type of patterns we have to use loops right so let's see how to do this with the help of uh, Java so let's go back to NetBeans and what we'll do is uh, we'll try to print this pattern so for this we require a for loop of course when you want to whenever you want to print a pattern we require two for loops right so we have defined two for loops here which is nested for loop and in this we'll use a variable and we'll start with one and then we'll finish the values till nine right so there, there are multiple ways of doing this we'll go for the first way so what we'll do is uh, we'll print this part first or let me remove this word here pattern and in Java okay so what we'll do we'll just try to print this first so this is your one pattern and this will be second that's one way we can do this or what we can do is we can print everything with one for loop or nested for loop so we'll see uh, multiple ways of doing this so initially we'll start with let's try to print this pattern and then we'll move towards the lower part so Initially, we just have, if you focus only on the first row here, let me just reduce the size of my net bean so that you can see both the things at the same time. Uh, so, okay, it looks good, right? So we have this pattern here in which we'll first try to print the first block. Let's, let's say we don't have this block here. Okay, we are printing only the first block. So what we'll do is we'll take this five characters, or sorry, five uh, rows, we have i equal to one, I less than equal to 5 and I plus plus. In here, we have to mention J and we'll start J with 1. And when you want to try to print this pattern, we can say J less than I, right? Or J less than equal to I. So that's the way you, you can print this pattern here. If I say S out, if I remove this print ln, and if I print a star with space, so what it will do, it will run a loop from so this i will count in the, the number of rows so we have five rows and this j will count the number of columns so for the first row we have only one column for the second row we have two columns for the third row we have three columns so that means for multiple rows we have multiple columns right or for the number of rows we have we have number of columns so what we can do is we can start j by one or j with one and then we'll finish less than equal to i and after every loop or after every initial internal loop will print uh -oh, it's out and will print a new line so that once it prints one star we want new line after two stars we want new line after three stars we want new line right and if you run this code you got these five stars or you got these five things what about this thing now i want to print this block so what we can do is for the from the first block we have printed this now we'll use one more for loop outside again we can use i we can reuse i because the scope of the initial i value just was uh, in this for loop we, are, we can use reuse i here again we, we have a 4 so we'll say i less than or equal to 4 and i plus plus okay this will count the number of rows we want to also count the number of columns so we'll use uh, int j but this time j will be at max that will be 4 and j greater than or equal to i that's what you have to do here because you are going for reverse right so we are we are going for the value which is reducing so initially it will be 4 then it will be 3 then it will be 2 so as your i value increases your j iteration will be decreasing okay and let's print the again let's print something here we'll say print ln and we'll print a uh, star okay it will print star here space and here we'll use a new line to print this and if I run this code you got this this uh, pattern right so that's why we have to use a pattern here 